so the unit number 3 the structure of the process is already going on and uh kal humne dekha tha what is a process context context of the process here this is the topic that yesterday we started context of the process so dear student what is the context of the process kal humne detail mein dekha tha main aaj shuru mein aapko thoda sa recap karta hu the context of the process consist of these three things what are that three things first one it contains contents of its user address space that is called as user level context okay second content of hardware register called context and third called term context so in cheez a context of the process is consisting of these three things first one is the user okay so uh, sorry for the interruption because uh, i am also at uh, home and i am taking conduct in this lecture from so 50% staff is allowed in the college and today i am at home so i am getting the phone call from college regarding some activities that's why some disturbance is there okay so no issue we will uh, resume on tens learn c contains of user level context okay so kindly uh, remember these things what the contents of user level context then second one is the register level context what the register level context you can register so what what are, what are the registers like program counter pc program counter it contains the register level context contains component like program counter which specify the next instruction to be executed then it contains the process which specifies the hardware status setting the process then the pointer to point the current address of the next entry in the kernel and last one is the general purpose register contains the data generated by the process during the execution so these are the content of the use uh, at this level context In the last one is the uh, system level context. 
there are two parts of the system level contact first one is the static part and second is the dynamic part so what the static part means okay now uh, first of all you uh, must uh, remember the static part is same okay is same throughout the time okay it's not changing it is same the process has one static part throughout its lifetime but it can have variable number of dynamic parts so dynamic part is changing okay and what are the static part of the uh, this uh, system of contact so these are three things there in the static part that is process table entry u area and the region entries region table and page table now what is the dynamic part dynamic part contains the kernel stack which contains the stack frames and we know that this are logical they are the push when the is called and is returning so that's why the stack is automatically created and its value is dynamically changed okay that is uh, uh, we uh, learn a stack is automatically created and its value is dynamically changed okay so that is a dynamic part of this dynamic part of this uh, uh, system level context that is kernel stack as a dynamic part of the system level context consists of set of layer visualized as a last in first out stack okay with the stack is having the property last in first out so that is also a dynamic part that means whenever the push and the pop operation is going on so that is a dynamic part so it is dynamically changing so the kernel stack which contains the stack frame and second is the dynamic part of the system level context consist of the set of pairs which is first put stack okay some uh, because the uh, i'm connecting to mobile so the problem is there for connecting okay so here so we will continue uh, now uh, the one is this figure can give you that what are the components of the context of the process component of the context of the process so how many components are there you can see the static portion of the context and the dynamic portion of the context and the contains user level context and similarly there is a uh, system level context so system level context is having these three things as a static and dynamic the kernel along with that stack pointer last in first out okay so uh, this is the component component of the context of the process okay this already we have seen yesterday and we already started the
there are too much disturbance there today okay here now uh, uh, this is the topic that uh, yesterday we started the test process so three scenarios are there my dear student kindly pay attention okay three scenarios are there first one is whenever the interrupt or the exception occurred whenever the interrupt or the exception occurred then the kernel is saving the context of the process okay this is the first scenario second scenario is what whenever the uh, system call is executed see here second scenario is here that is whenever the system call is executed then the kernel is saving the context of the process and the last scenario is whenever the contact switch take place whenever the contact switch take place then the kernel is saving the context of the process so three things are there okay three scenarios are there at that time the context of the process is saved so we will start with the first that is what happened when the interrupt or the exception occurred okay now you can see on your screen so interrupt that we know that interrupt is the externally occurred event okay so jo externally occurred by exception is internally occurred so interrupt is having a interrupt number every interrupt is having a interrupt number and a a uh, interrupt table is there interrupt table interrupt table is having a interrupt number and a interrupt handler okay so here you can see the kernel determines the uh, see here what is the following sequence operation what operation can take place when the interrupt occur interrupt occur hone ke baad kya jaise ki abhi dekho hamara online session chal raha hai i am conducting the session and suddenly i am getting the phone calls so that is a external uh, external entity so externally mujhe phone call aa rahe so that is the interrupt so interrupt jab ye jo phone call jab aa raha tha because that is a important phone call i am getting the phone call from the college because the, today i am at home okay so mujhe wo phone uh, receive karna bahut important tha okay so that's why uh, maine kya kiya ki aapka jo google meet chal raha tha hamara usse uh, usse stop kiya aur maine phone call receive kiya okay so what i am doing i am i am handling the interrupt main kya kar raha tha i am handling the interrupt okay so mai aa raha hai aapko aur jaise hi mera interrupt handling routine khatam ho gaya jaise maine phone call mein jo kuch humne discussion kiya uh, after completing the discussion i again start the google meet maine wapas google meet start ki maine wapas apna session chalu kiya so that is nothing but the same thing happens in the operating system whenever the interrupt occur jab operating system ka kaam chal raha tha suddenly a interrupt occur ho jata hai interrupt jab occur ho jata hai to kya hota hai ki jo current execution hai wo stop ho jata hai the operating system stop the current execution and give the service to the that is called as handling the interrupt or after handling the interrupt the operating system again switch back to the work from where it is stop okay jahan pe usne stop kiya tha wahan se wo wapas apna kaam chalu karta hai that is called as restarting the work from where he stop okay that operating system stop so what are the sequence of the operation that took place when the op uh, interrupt occur so to uh, see the number 1 is there so kya hota hai ki whenever the interrupt occur or the exception occur then the operating system or the kernel i can say the kernel or operating system both are same so it saves the current register context for executing process and create a new context layer okay that is the first operation second operation kya hota hai dekho so the kernel determines the source of the interrupt kernel determine the source of the interrupt and if applicable a uh, unit number such as which drive cause the interrupt so when the system receives an interrupt it gets a number that is called as interrupt number so it uses the number as a index into interrupt vector which stores the action to be taken that is called as interrupt handler when the interrupt occur for example now the interrupt vector is there kal maine aapko kaha tha ki main aaj aapko dikhaunga 
अगेन इन द सेकंड लेक्चर ओके दोपहर में भी हमारा लेक्चर वहां पे मैं आपको इंटरप्ट वेक्टर टेबल दिखाऊंगा कुछ नहीं रहता उसमें इंटरप्ट वेक्टर टेबल इज हैविंग टू थिंग्स टू कॉलम्स फर्स्ट कॉलम इज हैविंग अ इंडेक्स नंबर जैसे यहां पे दिखाया इंडेक्स दैट इज नथिंग बट अ इंटरप्ट नंबर इंटरप्ट नंबर एंड द इंटरप्ट हैंडलर ओके दिस दिस थिंग्स आर देयर इन द इंटरप्ट वेक्टर सो दैट दैट विल बी कैरीड आउट इन द सेकंड स्टेप एंड इन द थर्ड स्टेप व्हाट हैपेंस सी हियर in the third step the kernel invokes the interrupt handler jo kuch interrupt number occur hua hai uske anusar interrupt handler routines will be executed and the kernel stack of new context layer is logically distinct from the kernel stack of the previous context layer okay so jab interrupt occur hoga to interrupt handler routines execute ho jayega so kernel kya karega ki that it will push the it will push the logical stack frame on the kernel stack and uh, saves the previous context layer okay this thing will be happen in the uh, step number 3 and step number 4 me kya ho raha dekho the kernel return from the interrupt handler and execute the set of hardware instruction which restore the previous context ek bar interrupt ko switch dene ke baad kernel again return back to the previous layer okay तो ये सब चीजें एक छोटे से अलगोरिथम में आपको यहाँ पे एक्सप्लेन किया है देखो द इंटरप्ट हैंडलर अलगोरिथम इज शोन ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो दैट इज हैविंग अलगोरिथम का नाम क्या है आई एन टी हैंड दैट इज नथिंग बट इंटरप्ट हैंडलर और उसको इनपुट क्या है नन एंड आउटपुट इज नन बट वॉट आर द स्टेप सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव स्टेप्स आर देयर यू कैन रीड इन द अलगोरिथम फर्स्ट वन इज सेव द करंट कॉन्टेक्ट लेयर determine the source of the interrupt find the interrupt vector call the interrupt handler and restore the previous context layer the first one is the push last one is the pop okay so these things are nothing but the interrupt what happened when the interrupt and the exception occurred okay our topic is saving the context of the process so jab uh, interrupt occur hota hai so these things will be saved uh, according to uh execution so that is nothing but a uh, uh, interrupts and exceptions okay clear hai sabko now uh, see here one an example so uh, example of the state of the context layer as a stack as a system call is executed and interrupts occur is shown here okay see one figure is there that will give you the idea what happen when the interrupt occur so here interrupt sequence like we know that uh, in the unit number 1 we learned the clock interrupts are there disk interrupts are there then the system calls is again a uh, that that is a one kind when that is not a interrupt but jab system call occur hota hai to aapko current execution stop karna padta hai okay and then the user mode is there so uh, this this figure shows that what happen when this interrupt occur disk interrupt occur system calls occur okay so on the right hand side you can see when the system call docker tab kya hota hai the kernel context layer execute the system call and save the register context and the user level context here to execute the disk interrupt handler and save the context system jab clock interrupt docker hota hai kya hota hai kernel context layer execute the clock interrupt handler and save the register context disk interrupt handler so this is the procedure which took place whenever the interrupt context process okay when the system called docker taking so uh, The lab functions such as open read, etc. Many things are there. Not only open read. So open a read, a, write, a, close, a, open read, write, close, for, ex, ec. So many library functions are there because they are a system called is like a ordinary library function. Na, okay, I mean system called. बारे में हमने definition देखा था. System called is like a ordinary C function. Okay. तो यहाँ पे फर्स्ट लाइन आप देख सकते हैं लाइब्रेरी फंक्शन सच एज ओपन रीड राइट क्लोज 
etc in the standard c library are not actually a system call okay those are normal function and normal functions cannot change the mode of execution of the system okay this function invokes special instruction which makes the system change its execution mode to the kernel and start executing the system call code the instruction is called operating system trap system calls are the special case of interrupt handling uh, library routines pass the number of unique for each system called as a parameter to the operating system trap through a specific register or on stack okay so see here now the algorithm is given here system call jab occur hota hai to kya hota hai that will explain with the help of this short algorithm okay so you can remember the algorithm and you can get the actual concept clearly see here what is the name of the algorithm the name of the algorithm is syscall system call and what is the input to this algorithm that is a system call number and what is the output from this algorithm the result of the system call now what are the steps so first step is find the entry in the system call table corresponding to the system call number so jo kuch system call number as a input diya gaya hai depending upon that system call number find the entry find the entry in the system call table okay find the entry in the system call table corresponding to the system call number then second step determine the number of parameter to the system call each system call is having parameter like it is having parameter right is having parameter okay uh, all exec is having parameters so determine the number of parameter to the system call and next third one is copy the parameter from user address space to u area okay copy the parameter from user address space to the u area and next one is save the current context for about you returns okay so about you returns means kya hota hai ki suddenly aapko aapka jo kaam chal raha hai use stop karna padta hai that is called as about okay aur aapko wo contents save karne padte hai kyu save karne padte hai kyunki wapas jab system call finish ho jayega tab aapko wapas us position se return karna padega that's why save the current context for about you return and next one is the invoke the system call code in the kernel okay if a error during execution of the system call abhi kai kai hota hai ki aapne file open ki because you are using the open system call but already the file is not in existence to kya hoga file aap open kar rahe lekin file available nahi hai then it gives the error so that is the thing but if the error occurred during the execution of the system call then set register 0 in the user save register context to the error number turn on carry bit in ps register is user save register context okay so jab error occur hogi to aapko register 0 set karna padega in user register context to error number <coughs> sorry and turn on the carry bit in ps bit ps register agar error occur nahi hogi to else set the register 0 as a one in user save register context and return the value from the system call so this is the algorithm sys call that will be executed whenever the system call is executed okay so same thing is uh, explained here in this uh, uh, th theory part that you can read afterwards so here here one example is given that is nothing but what happen when the system call is executed see here the system call table is there okay see that is actually a example for create system call and generated code for motorola 86800 okay so uh, that is the example given here and then uh, this below figure the, that gives example what happen when a stack configuration for create system call what is the stack configuration for create system call okay so create system call is the one system call what happen when the create is executed and what is the stack configuration that is given in this figure okay now the next one is the context switch so uh, third scenario that took place whenever the contact switch will take place contact switch okay 
सेविंग द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस तो तीन तीन जगह पे आपका कॉन्टेक्स सेव होगा फर्स्ट वन इज जब कभी भी इंटरप्ट और एक्सेप्शन ऑकर्ड होगा तब जब सिस्टम होगा तब आपका कॉन्टेक्ट सेव होगा थर्ड वेन एवर द कॉन्टेक्ट स्विच टेक प्लेस नाउ वट इज द कॉन्टेक्ट स्विच कॉन्टेक्ट स्विच के बारे में हमने देखा है कि लाइक अ कर्नल इज एग्जीक्यूटिंग मल्टीपल प्रोसेसेस बिकॉज इट इज मल्टी टास्किंग सिस्टम तो हर एक प्रोसेस को कुछ ना कुछ एक ड्यूरेशन अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम इज गिवन फॉर एग्जीक्यूशन लाइक फोर नैनो सेकंड so within that 4 nanosecond if the process is not completing its execution then what happen the kernel perform the contact switch <coughs> it switch from one process to other process okay jab kabhi bhi slip system called occur hota hai slip to so slip mein hum kya karte hai ki ek process ko slip mode mein dalte hai aur dusre ko execute karte hai so whenever the slip system called is occur then the contact switch take place okay so uh, jab kabhi bhi ye contact switch occur hoga then the process context will be saved <coughs> okay see here so what is written here as seen previously the kernel prims the context switch under four situation dekho there are four situation when the process permits the context switch and what are that first one is when the process goes to the slip mode second when process exist and when the process return from the system call to user mode but not the most eligible process to run and in the process from the error pattern the but not the most eligible process to run so these are the four things these are the again these are the four situations okay are the four environment where the contact we can take place so what is the first situation first situation is when the process goes to the slip mode okay जब कभी भी आप स्लिप सिस्टम कॉन्टीक्यूट करते हैं तब क्या करते हैं आप कि प्रोसेस को स्लिप मोड में डालते हैं प्रोसेस गोज इनटू द स्लिप मोड तो स्लिप मोड में क्या है प्रोसेस इज स्पेंडेड फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम ओके एंड इट इट्स अ वेरी शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन ओके फॉर दैट ड्यूरेशन द प्रोसेस इज नॉट परफॉर्मिंग एक्टिविटी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द प्रोसेस इज अंडर स्लिप मोड सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट सिचुएशन सेकंड सिचुएशन इज व्हेनेवर द प्रोसेस एग्जिस्ट एग्जिस्ट मतलब जब कभी भी आप प्रोसेस को टर्मिनेट करते हैं टर्मिनेट कैसे करेंगे एग्जिट सिस्टम कॉल्ड यूज करके वेन एवर द यू यूज द एग्जिट सिस्टम कॉल्ड ई एक्स आई टी एग्जिट सो द प्रोसेस गोज इन टू दैट द प्रोसेस सेव द कॉन्टेक्ट थर्ड वो कैन रीड देयर द थर्ड सीनारियो इज वेन द प्रोसेस रिटर्न फ्रॉम द सिस्टम कॉल देखो ऊपर हमने सिस्टम कॉल के बारे में देखा जब कभी सिस्टम कॉल से प्रोसेस रिटर्न होती है whenever the process return from the system call to the user mode but it is not the most eligible process to run it is it is returning from the system call to the user mode but it is not a most eligible process to run that time the context of the process will be saved and next one is last one when the process return from the interrupt handler when the process return from the interrupt handler but again it is not a most eligible process to run that time the context of the process will be saved so these are the four scenarios they that, that, that time okay uh, the context of the process will be saved okay so uh, all these things are explained theoretically whatever i explain orally the process slip out me jaati tab kya hota hai process exit hota tab kya hota hai process return from system call tab kya hota hai and process return from interrupt tab kya hota hai all these things are explained here with the help of this theory part okay so that uh, you can read and see here the pseudo code is given here a pseudo code for context which is given below so if save the context pick another process to run so context hum save karte hai matlab kya karte hai so we are saving the context of the one process jaise ki kaun se process ka aap save karenge upar aapko diya hai there are four scenarios a process goes to the slip mode तो उसका कॉन्टेक्ट आप सेव करेंगे प्रोसेस इज एग्जिट तो उसका कॉन्टेक्ट सेव करेंगे प्रोसेस रिटर्न फ्रॉम द सिस्टम कॉल तो उसका कॉन्टेक्ट सेव करेंगे प्रोसेस रिटर्न फ्रॉम द इंटरप्ट हैंडलर तो उस प्रोसेस का कॉन्टेक्ट हम सेव करेंगे ओके तो नीचे सुडो कोड में दिया है सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू सेव द कॉन्टेक्ट देन वी आर पिकिंग अनादर प्रोसेस टू रन वी आर पिकिंग पिकिंग मतलब वी आर सिलेक्टिंग अनादर प्रोसेस फॉर एग्जीक्यूटिंग 
So that is nothing but pick another process to run and execute that process. So that process, another process will be executed. And after completion of that another process, you can see the next statement, resume the context of the new process. Okay. So resume the context. And uh, after completing this execution, see here, this the curly bracket is uh, opening, closing are completed. And then after this, resume the process, resume process, execute here. Okay. So that is a, a actual pseudo code given for context switch. Okay. So uh, here, uh, returning from the about you returns, saving the context from uh, for about you returns is explained here. What is meant by about you returns here? Uh, this is the situation. So this situation arises when kernel needs to abort the current execution sequence. So beach mein aapko process terminate karni padti hai. Abort karna padta hai. Abort matlab kya hai? Ki in between you are aborting, you are stopping, you are existing the system. Okay. And what you are doing, you previously save context. That is called as abort execution. Okay. So uh, these things are there, okay, and that uh, normally occurred whenever we uh, save the context, okay. And then copying the data between system and user address space. So context switch is about, uh, matlab, us dauran, aapko, uh, 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 data, copy the data between user, uh, between system and user address space. Ye karna padta hai. So how you can copy that uh, uh, data between system and user address space that is given here process in the kernel okay or in the user mode but the system call needs to copy the data from user to kernel address space and vice versa okay so address in the kernel address space are of course not accessible to user address space okay the kernel copies the data from user address space kernel address space and vice versa the kernel when access the address in the user address space but must ascertain that address in its user space. Otherwise, it could invariantly write on some kernel data structure and can corrupt. So that is nothing but uh, while switching from user address space to kernel and kernel address space to the user, you have to copy the data. Copy the data. Copy the data between system and user address space. Whenever the switching from kernel to user and user to kernel take place, that time you are copying the data. That is given here. So this uh, one example, this is the wax code for moving the one character from user mode to kernel mode is given here. Okay. So uh, this is there related to the saving the context of the process. Okay. So this is the actual things which are important that I explained here. Saving the context of the process. This is the topic. Under that, you remember there are three scenarios. First one is the uh, whenever the interrupts or the exception occurred. Tab aapki context aapko save karna padta hai. Aapko matlab kernel ko. Okay. Kernel is saving the context of the process whenever the interrupts or the exception occur. Jab interrupt occur hota hai to ye three charges de. First, second, third and fourth that will be executed. And this algorithm is very important to remember what happened when the interrupts occur. And then the system called is the second scenario. What happened when the system called occur? So again, uh, algorithm is given here that you can remember uh, saving the context of the process when the system called occur. And lastly, the context switch. So these four things are there, four are there when the process goes to the sleep mode, when the process exists, when the process return from the system call, and when the process return from the interrupt handler, that time the context switch will took, took place. And that time uh, this pseudo code can be executed so uh, saving the context for about your returns and copy the data between system and user address space. These are the two important things that can take place while uh, uh, context switch. Okay. So then uh, next article that is manipulation of the process address space. Manipulation of the process address space. What is the manipulation of the process address space here? So 
so normally a uh, region table in three contains the following information we know that what the region table contains region table so region table contains the following information that is a uh, i node of the file from which the region was initially loaded okay i node of the file from which the region was initially loaded second the type of the region that is text region shared memory private data or stack the size of the region and next one is the location of the region in the physical memory and the state of the region whether it is locked in demand being loaded into memory or valid loaded into memory and last one is the reference count giving the number of process that reference the region okay so these things are there in the region table okay so here now the operation that manipulate the region that what is the topic what is our title of article the manipulation of the process address space so when you can manipulate the process address space so region table ke dauran dekho region table contains these things okay following information that is there in the region table that is given in the screen now the operation that manipulate the region r what are the operation that manipulate the region that is given here see here so first the operation that manipulate the region first is whenever we are we means the kernel kernel log the region kernel unlock the region kernel allocate the region kernel attach a region to the memory space of the process change the region and detach the region from the memory space to the process and duplicate the contents of the region so these things are there these operations are there whenever this operation took place okay that time the region will be manipulated okay the operation that manipulate the region are log the region okay then uh, unlock the region allocate the region attach a region to memory space of the process change the size of the region load the region from file into memory space of the process free the region and detach the region from the memory space of the process and manipulate the contents of the region okay now one by one we will see what is the locking and unlocking the region okay what is the locking and unlocking of the region here locking and unlocking the region so kernel can lock and unlock the region independent of the op operation to allocate and free the region just like locking and unlocking mechanism of the i nodes is independent of allocating and releasing the i nodes so uh, kernel can lock and unlock the region independent of the operation to allocate the region and free the region okay so kernel can lock and unlock the region so what is mean by allocating the regions now the first one is given here allocating the region what is the uh, allocating the region see so allocating the region means a kernel allocate a region in four exec and shm gate that is shared memory gate system call so when the kernel allocate the region so kernel can allocate the region during this three system call okay during this three system call and uh, dear student you can see the algorithm is there एवरी टाइम आपको क्या करना है कि ये अलग्रितम जो दिया है सिलेबस में उसको याद रखना है जस्ट फोकस ऑन द अलग्रितम एंड यू कैन गेट द रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन एटोमेटिकली सो सी यर अलग्रितम उसका नाम क्या है अलोकेट रीजन ए डबल एल ओ सी आर ई जी दैट इज अलोक रेच दैट इज नथिंग बट अलोकेशन ऑफ द रीजन अलोकेट द रीजन दैट इज आवर टाइटल अलोकेटिंग द रीजन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस अलग्रितम अलोक रीजन so what is the input to this algorithm a uh, i node pointer region type and what will be the output locked region now what are the sequence which took place the first sequence is remove the region from the linked list of the free region assign the region type assign the region in i node pointer and if the i node pointer not nil then increment the i node reference count and place the region on the linked list of active region and return that is log the region so see here 
जब कभी भी कर्नल को रीजन अलोकेट करना पड़ता है तो वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ रीजन टेक्स्ट रीजन डेटा रीजन स्टैक रीजन सो इनमें से किसी को भी अगर कर्नल को लॉक करना है लॉक का मतलब क्या है अलोकेट करना है देन दिस सिक्वेंस ऑफ ऑपरेशन विल टेक प्लेस सो फर्स्ट सिक्वेंस इज इट रिमूव द इट रिमूव द रीजन फ्रॉम द लिंक लिस्ट ऑफ द फ्री रीजन असाइन द रीजन टाइप assign the region i node pointer and if the i node pointer is not null increment the i node reference count and place the region on the linked list of active region and return that is nothing but the output lock region so this is the algorithm for allocating the region okay then uh, next one is attaching the region to process so kernel ne uh, region first first step mein kya kiya region ko allocate kiya now second step mein kya karega attach the region to process attach that region to process a process b process c suppose what happened then here the kernel attach the region to the process abhi uh, one uh, one thing is that allocating the region so allocating ye step kab hogi whenever the kernel use the fork system called exec or shm gate shared memory gate system called that time the kernel allocate the region okay नाउ अटैचमेंट कब होगा अटैचिंग द रीजन टू द प्रोसेस ये कब होगा तो द कर्नल अटैच द रीजन टू प्रोसेस एड्रेस स्पेस विथ अटैच रीजन सिस्टम कॉल एंड इट यूज इन फोर्क ई एक्स सी सी एंड एस एच मैट ओके सो वेन एवर द फोर्क ई एक्स सी सी और एस एच मैट दिस सिस्टम कॉल विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड कर्नल अटैच द रीजन टू द प्रोसेस कर्नल अटैच the region to the process okay so now this uh, algorithm is explained here the attach region see here what is the input to this algorithm input is the pointer to lock region being attached jo upar lock kiya hai wohi aapko attach karna padega so that's nothing but a pointer to lock region being attached and process to which the region is being attached aapko process bhi chahiye ki jisko aapko wo region attach karna hai and the virtual address space where the region will be attached region type and what is the output of from this algorithm pre process region table entry so wo attach kiya hua region baad mein kidhar jayega per process region table yahan pe pre diya hai that is prison table na prison so per process region table so what are the sequence of operation allocate per process region table entry for the process allocate per process region table entry for the process then initialize per process region table set the pointer to the region set the pointer to region being attached set the type field set the virtual address field check the legality of the virtual address space region size increment the region reference count increment the process size according to the attached region and initialize the new hardware register triple for process and return that is per process region table so this is the algorithm which is used for attaching the region to the process okay what is the title of our assignment title of our uh, article is manipulating the process address space so whenever the uh, region is locked region is unlocked region is allocated region is attached region is loaded into uh, memory and detach the region from the memory so whenever this operation will took place then the manipulation can take place so first one is allocating locking and unlocking that is nothing but allocating so this algorithm we have seen second one is attaching the region to the process this algorithm we have seen now the next one is changing the size of the region so kernel want to change the size of the region so when it want to change the size of the region that is given here see here the stack region of the process grows and shrink okay normally uh, the stack jiska size kam jyada hota hai okay because of push and pop operation that is called as grows and shrink automatically according to the nesting calls so it uses the grow region algorithm okay so the stack region of the process grows and shrinks automatically according according to the nesting calls so uh, what happens in this algorithm here these algorithms are given here 
grow region what is the input to this algorithm input is pointer to per process region table in tree change in the size positive or negative and what is the output none so algorithm is explained if region size is increased if the size of the region is increasing then check the legality of the new region size allocate the auxiliary table that is page table if not system call supporting demand paging then allocate the physical memory initialize the auxiliary table else region size decreasing free the physical memory as appropriate and free auxiliary table as appropriate and do initialization of auxiliary table and necessary set the size field in the process table so this things is nothing but changing the size of the region and which algorithm is used for it grow region okay so this algorithm you just remember that can give you the idea what is the changing the size of the region and next one is loading the region okay next one is loading the region so when you can manipulate the region at the time of loading the region loading the region into the memory here so for the loading the region into the memory for that purpose we require this algorithm load region okay and what is the name of the algorithm load region what is the input to this algorithm pointer to per process region table virtual address to load region inode pointer of a file for loading region and byte offset in the file to start region byte count for amount of data to load and what is the output none okay so uh, these are the steps which are given there what happen when we want to load the region to the memory so first one is increase the region size according to the eventual size of the region okay for that uh, the previous algorithm grow region can be used mark the region state that is being loaded into memory unlock the region set up the u area parameter for reading file target the virtual address where the data is read and start offset value for reading file count of bytes to read from file read the file into region log the region mark the region state as completely loaded into memory and awake all process waiting for region to be loaded so this is the algorithm which is used for loading the region into the memory after this loading the region into the memory the next is next one is free the region freeing the region so now you want to free the region you mean the kernel so for that the algorithm the name of the algorithm is free region and what is the input to this algorithm pointer to locked region jisse aapko free karna hai that is nothing but uh, pointer to the lock region and uh, output is none so what are the steps if region reference count non zero then some process still using the region release the region lock if region has associated i node release the i node lock and return if region has associated Read i node and release the i node with the help of algorithm input. Free the physical memory still associated with region. Free the auxiliary table associated with the region. Clear the region field and place the region on region table free list and unlock. So this is the free region algorithm which is used for freeing the region. And then next one is the detaching the region from the process. So the algorithm name is detach region. Okay. so what is the input to this uh, detaching the region so the input is detach region and this pointer to per process region table output is none and these are the step get auxiliary memory management table for process release as appropriate decrement the process size decrement the region reference count if reference count is zero and region is not thick bit okay then free the region else free the i node lock and free the region lock so that is nothing but the algorithm detach region for detaching the region from the process okay and then there is a uh, one more is there that is duplicating a region so duplicating the region the algorithm name is dup region okay and these things are given input is pointer to the region table output is pointer to the region table and look identical input okay uh and these steps are given here so here i will stop and in the next lecture we will start from the sleep system call i will take your attendance and then you can do the meeting
Present, sir. Eighty-nine. Present, sir. Ninety. Ninety-one. Present, sir. Ninety-two. Present, sir. Ninety-three. Present, sir. Ninety-four. Ninety-four. Present, sir. Present, sir. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. Present, sir. Ninety-seven. Present, sir. Present, sir. Ninety-eight. Present, 99. sir. Present, sir. Hundred. Present, sir. One zero one. One zero. Present, three. sir. Present. One zero three. One zero Present. Five. Present. Present. One zero six. One zero. Present, sir. Present, sir. One zero nine. One ten. Present, sir. Eleven. Present, sir. Present. Thirteen. Fourteen. Present, sir. Fifteen. Present, sir. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, present, sir. Twenty-one, present, sir. Twenty-two, twenty-three, present. Twenty-four, twenty-five, present. Twenty-six, present, sir. Twenty-seven. Present. Twenty-eight. Present. Twenty-nine. Present, sir. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Present, sir. What is your number? Four. Present, sir. Forty. Present, sir. Present, sir. Forty-three. Forty-four. Present, sir. Forty-five. Forty-six. Present, sir. Forty-one. Present, sir. Forty-nine. Present, sir. Present, Present sir. One fifty. Eighty-two. Present, sir. Present, 54. sir. Present, sir. Fifty-five. Present, sir. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sixty-one, sixty. Present, sir. Present, sir. हाँ सर 